Moretti takes a shot to the back. No call there. And then takes an even bigger hit from Lenostansky afterwards. Powell over to Kennedy. Kennedy nifty pass to Nacero. Nacero shot high rising. Rebound out in front. And he scores! Dan Nacero gets his second of the weekend and puts the Owls back on top. 111 remaining in the first period. Owls on top. 2-1. to one. Some pushing and shoving out in front from Justin McKenney as he's trying to get a wide open look. Comes back to the point. Hanerhan. Hanerhan to Dumbach, who was calling for it. Dumbach at that ref, right faceoff dot, and after the left faceoff dot, Lombardi, Lombardi shoots, he scores! Jason Lombardi, the assistant captain. Both teams have a power play goal, one for one, and that's our score, as it's a 1-1 one, one game. First power play for Robert Morris, less than 12 seconds. Let's see how long this one lasts. The Owls hope it's the duration of two minutes, as it's Litostansky in the box. Already 10 seconds have gone, so this is going to be a longer power play for Robert Morris. Puck comes out in front. Oh. What a save by Richards. What another save by Hayden Richards. Number one for the Temple Owls, making save after save. And now Hanrahan's going to try and do the same. He wants to toss it out. And now this could be an on-man break. Devlin in alone on a breakaway. He shoots. He scores! Back Devlin with the short-handed goal. And the Owls lead it 2-1. to one. And here's McKenney trying to push the puck forward. He does just that. It's now picked up by Lance. Lance hits it off the end board, so now the Owls stay with it. They try and center it out in front. They still poke away at it. They're jamming away along the goal line. It's still free as it's now worked behind the cage. Now it comes to the near board side where Dumbach, the lone Owls goal scorer, gets it through a seam, and that might be a second goal. Ryan Dumbach's point shot gets through, and it's 2-2. Two two. As Powell's shot misses, so the point men are Lombardi and Powell out in front. McKenney. And Hanrahan, once again, oh. and it's Justin McKenney! Out in front, Justin McKenney, a power play goal for the Temple Owls, and they lead it two to one! And here's Ryan Williams working it back to the point where Matt Williams fakes the shot quickly, can't get the shot through as it wasn't put in his uh -oh. play basket. And now here's Joey Powell scoring on a breakaway. We are back to even strength. Joey Powell shoots, he scores! Joey Powell knocks it up at five apiece! With 8.50 to go, the seesaw game continues. And welcome into Iceworks from Aston, Pennsylvania, where the number six seed Temple Owls are facing the number three Towson Tigers. My name is Michael Zahn, joined alongside me is Aaron Sherman, and we will be with you all weekend long. And Aaron, how great is the spectacle that we are at, the first game being the number six Temple Owls and the number three Towson Tigers. Picking up the puck. Circling around, finds his man at the point, that's Snyder. Snyder shot on, saved there by Salomon. Not even sure if he got through. Might have hit Lombardi out in front. As they still rim it around. Here's Stella, back to the point, to Suzuka. Work it to the near board side. Now it's at that left faceoff dot. Backhand shot, and finally McGuire puts it home. It's a power play goal. So a five on four advantage for now 35 seconds for the midshipman. Trying to clear it out of the zone are the Ice Cats. And here's a breakaway break for Skaggs, a short-handed breakaway, the right-handed shot, shoots, he scores! Skaggs with a short-handed goal! And what an outlet pass! 12.36 remaining in the third period. Hershey still on top, 4 nothing, And some knuckles are going to be thrown. Matt Karkner and O'Brien. Matt Karkner already has two penalty minutes in this game as they square up in the Sound Tigers' end. O'Brien just going to go head first into Karkner. Karkner wraps him up. Karkner landing a couple rights. They toss him back and forth. It's now O'Brien with some rights of his own. Karkner with the left. O'Brien wants to get his elbow guard free. He's able to, and then Karkner lays him out, was able to throw him to the ice, trying to wake up this crowd here. Karkner has a couple extra words for O'Brien after that fight. He's even giggling to himself. Because O'Brien really lost his footing more than anything else. Finds Karkner. Karkner's going to dump the puck down deep. And it's going to rim around for Mayfield. Mayfield's shot doesn't get on. Outlet pass here for Bork. Bork in alone on a breakaway. The left-handed shot. Deeks. And he scores. He's second of the game. Bork puts the Hershey Bears on top for nothing. Took just a minute 18 into the period to get that goal. Give Josh Brown nine points on the evening, also adding four assists and seven boards. He really does it all for this offense. And Dekozy, who averages a shade under 16 points per game, now has 18 points. This place is getting loud. Owls absolutely need to rebound, and that's why Fran McCaffrey has called a timeout.
And afterwards, Quinton Dacozzi flexes to the cherry and white section. The Owls are up by one. My goodness, what a great shot by Jamal McMurray. Some good perimeter defense by Josh Brown. He was able to neutralize and make sure he stayed out on that perimeter. But an off-balance shot by McMurray goes in. That's a big-time shot. And the Owls are up eight at the break. This has been their best performance thus far. And it seems week after week we say it. But man, UConn just cannot go anywhere. Jahad Thomas makes three different jukes. The middle linebackers can't take him down. The secondary can't take him down. He rushes in for the touchdown, 11-14 remaining, and it's a two-score lead for the Temple Owls.